Okay, there we go. Uh, Thed. Like DJ Thed in the Thed in that part. Because I assume it's like DJ Thed, like DJ as in like disc jockey, and then Thed is just a title, but or like a name. But... Stay loose. I could be totally wrong Your also. Also, actually, where my headset correctly, so my mic won't pop. Trolling, I don't have music playing. Good way for me to have the most unsuspected raid of all time. Thanks to viewers for the raid. Good GG on your PB. Welcome to the world's coolest club. Sounds like they're still in trouble, sir. Alright. Let's I practiced the uke skip earlier today. Uh, let's see if I actually still have it. Um, hey, you hit these. You hit these. He hits them. All right, let me reach up. The D. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, my username as a kid used to be uh, Bobby MacBob. My uh, first name is not Bobby. My middle name is not Bobby. No part of my name is Bobby. Um, yeah, he is in a good move. Uh, like my initials are AJ, um, but. I uh, just did Bobby Mac because it sounded funny. Luckily, it didn't really stick that well in terms of like I competed in like Kane's Wrath CNC3 online with it. But um, there was another player whose username was Mackie Bob who was much better than me, who everyone thought I was. So I used. Um, yeah, he went by Mackie Bob. Um, and so he was much better than me, and everyone thought I was him because of the name similarity. They thought I was like a smurf from him. Um, that notion quickly got disabused by him being so much better than me. Um, and so I went by the other name I had, which was my Minecraft username, Neto. Um, Neto came about because it is the backwards of hot on, which was my cousin's friend's username in like the early 2000s. And then I got given the Minecraft account. DJ the D. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I like Nodo. Um, it stuck really well, and it, like, doesn't mean anything, so it's, like, it doesn't mean anything specific for me, so it's just a, a like, a word-sounding name that's not dumb. <laughs> Minecraft is in no long... Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying the D because it's funny. Um, yeah, I don't play Minecraft anymore, um... 
I owe too much of my career to Minecraft. Um, in short, I became a game programmer because of a Minecraft mod I worked on. Um, that, like, I got paid for and stuff. Um, so I owe a lot of my career to Minecraft. While at the same time, Minecraft isn't really a game I, I like anymore. Um, a lot of that was tempered by just working on it and feeling like it's not as well made as it could be. Yeah, because my I owe my career to Minecraft and Skyrim while at the same time disliking both those games. Uh, Skyrim for... I always just didn't like as much because of... I was... I'm an RPG snob is uh, the best way to say it. <laughs> Yeah. They're games that I appreciate their impact of, like, artistically, while not actually liking them. N one not anymore, the other never really. Because Skyrim was very important for the game industry's history in terms of getting people into games. Same with Minecraft, to be honest, but at the time Skyrim was the big deal for getting a lot of people into games, wanting to try it out. Kill you. I don't. I love when auto aim just kind of screws with your movement a little bit, and it's really annoying. Oh, cool. Yeah, for me, for some reason, all people decided to pay me for Minecraft Warning, and Skyrim mods. Um. And then that eventually ended up working with um, a company affiliated with Microsoft on Minecraft Bedrock. And then they were like my foot in the door. Because um, I could say I worked on official content within Minecraft Bedrock, because I did. Ow. Go away. Yeah, Java Edition is the one I actually played, but Bedrock is the one I got to do stuff on. Though nowadays, okay, nowadays I get to work on um, not Minecraft, and I'm really happy about that. It is a very internally badly made product. <laughs> That is not fun to work on. Fast time, let's go. That might hold. Um. Yeah. To be honest, I haven't modded as many games as like I should have in terms of programming mods for them. That's not cold. Still time save though. Um. It's really only been Minecraft Skyrim Kane's Wrath for me. It does not depend on fast mashing. Um, the best theory that I think both Thed and Lyrinus agree with me on is um, that it's on like a timer, it checks. That's like the most plausible idea that people have suggested is that there's like a timer every so often it checks if the if the button's been pressed and the, like, gate's open to end the mission. And it's just kind of... Oh, my chat closed. Oops. And it's back open, because I am... can do the section one-handed. Let's go. Yeah, um...
I mean, uh, there is. Uh, I when I was looking at all the, I don't, I can't, I don't remember the exact pattern, but when I was looking at all the split, yeah, um, when I was looking at all the split times for to compile that spreadsheet, um, there were like a lot of common endings and like with certain digits. Um, they, they weren't all the same ending, but there were like a lot of mission frames. Okay. Alright, headshot both those guys. Uh, the final mission and trigger feel slightly different. It feels like, cause th there's always the line that triggers of like, give me a minute, we don't have a minute, we're losing time, let's go. Um, I said that wrong, but that's the, you know, a lot I'm talking about. And then it feels like there's a constant about six second wait, but I'm not sure if it's actually constant. But it's, it would be unreasonable for that to be like that. Oh, I also banned quick save to a mouse button so I can stop having an excuse to press it, to not press it. Okay, yeah, it works. I've been pressing F6 still because of muscle memory, but I just tried it there. The other day I decided to watch the really old world record by like Terra Lufia that's like an hour 48. Like the the first like attempt at speedrunning this game basically ever. I'm for like the first recorded attempt I guess. Um, I doubt it's the first attempt. And it was really interesting to see like his ideas for strats like like cause obviously a lot of them just work fast but it was like interesting to see the perspective. Wait. Like how much uh, But yeah, it's really interesting. Uh, the way he did that section, by the way, he did do it with the buggy. He kills the Sam sites on the bridge with the gun emplacements. And if you kill the Sam sites, they drop a medium tank for you, which I vaguely remember casually, but not actually remember. And then uses the medium tank to tank the obelisk. Which is like, actually interesting, you know, how people think about that stuff. That was kind of terrifying because the rocket soldier was not in the same place he usually is. The other thing is he really liked the laser rifle. Like, he preferred it over like every other gun. It's really funny. Um, it's like fair. I remember thinking the laser, laser rifle was broken as a kid. I abused it a lot in my... Uh, this I'm not, this mission isn't too great in terms of not had the greatest, most optimal things in it, but I haven't made any like mistake mistakes in it, and I basically out of territory where I can make mistakes in it. So, what am I at? Fourteen minutes in. Okay, for this to.
My favorite fact all of Renegade is those decals outloading as you get into the elevator and you can see it. I don't know why that's my favorite Renegade fact, but it is. Wow, okay. Um, at the moment, timing is always the same, I think. It doesn't depend on the soldiers. No, for sure not. Um, in your PB, actually, you didn't kill one of the soldiers. <laughs> uh, they, the, there's the stealth back end and just the guys that fall down the rope, but you didn't kill them um, in your PB uh, that you just did. I noticed that he didn't shoot Sydney, so it was like, fine. But it's not dependent on the soldiers. It's uh, dependent on when... It's almost certainly dependent on when she gets there and whatever, and like the voice line. So the voice line that plays is related to that. Um... Okay, cool. Not cool, but decent. That's basically as fast as it can be without getting like a lucky um with get, get it, without getting good buggy RNG. Um It'd be interesting to see what the trigger is, either by like looking at the level in the level editor and seeing if there's a script, and like a script name that gives away stuff, um, or if like someone's a psycho and reverse engineers the binary, like the pre-compiled scripts, um, because the scripts in the level editor are unfortunately not in source form. Um, I have a feeling there might be a time and place where that psycho is me. But, yeah, um, what? I've never had that collision before. Okay. Uh, but, uh, I, if I had to guess the triggers when Sydney, like, gets at the console. But that's just, like, pure speculation off literally nothing. I too approve of psycho re reverse engineering, Warning. especially when I'm the one who does it. Yep. I didn't kill you because I'm dumb. I'm gonna kill you. I should make Twitch highlights of my good runs. Um, I don't because I'm dumb. Uh, my health is a little bit low for this part because I didn't kill the rock or the non soldier there at the by the rocket guy and just let them free hit me. But such is the life. I thought I missed that for some reason. Okay, yeah, I'm fine now. Especially the speedrunning game programmer, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, reverse engineering binary is fun in small amounts. In large amounts, it's 
disgustingly unfun. In small amounts, it's really fun, actually. I don't know. How did I lose three seconds in? I have no clue. Oh wait, yes I do. I walked in not straight lines <laughs> in several parts. Okay, cool. Uh, by the way, Lyranus's strat he mentioned for this level with like the voice line skip, I'm not actually sure it's like consistent if you go too fast. Because the voice line is kind of far behind. Like, the, the, the voice line actually happens so late if you, you compare it to, like, I don't know. I, I'm just thinking about, I tried it in the night I was, I got my PB in. Like, several, I tried it every night, like, I was listening for it and stuff, but it happened just so late. And then it's the cost-benefit of that I didn't do at the time of whether it's faster to do the waiting there or just do the torpedo racks, right? Assembly is super fun. It is. <laughs> Though, handcrafting your assembly is. I really find assembly fun, but that speaks to who I am. I could have not got that. I didn't need the armor there. I really like it because it's actually very close to how I th think as a programmer, but that's uh, very much. I'm two seconds behind here? How are we two Engine seconds behind here? What's with him? He's I didn't do anything slow. We'll take the sub. Like, the I don't know. Oh. Not yet. Get going. That costs two seconds? You're going up okay, or whatever. Um, don't seem fair, does it? I don't know. Maybe I'll shoot Part of it is, like, I'm very much, uh... The way my mental model thinks about computers is very much in line with how assembly works. So, I tend to be very comfortable in assembly land. Um. Rewiring complete. Missile rack two remaining. One. I pressed E like four times there, by the way. But such as the renegade interact button. Yeah, it is. It's like so finicky. Yeah, I, I didn't bother reading there. Um, I. Ah, uh, that was a bad jump. That was not the gun I meant to have out. <laughs> Love out the most over. I think it has to do with actually, um, the hitboxing on it. Like, the- I think they- because they have to- I got that, right? Why did I do that jump? I know that jump's about. Uh, that's the one jump stair jump you can't do faster than just walking down it. Which is. 
Okay. Uh, my health is high enough, sure. Let's do it. Oh. Okay. Hello? 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 What? Was that? Okay. Um. Oh, you're kidding me. Uh, serious? Uh. I've never actually had that before. Okay. Uh, my deadly reunion was awful in my PB, so let's not do awful. Yeah, shout out to Renegade AI there. That was, by the way, that was uh, gonna be a gold. That that was a gold in terms of actual pace, which is weird. Actually, that didn't feel like a gold, but I looked up the like individual split time. Hey, uh, who doesn't love those? The prisoner death I knew about, I've never seen that one happen before. But yeah, it's just Renegade AI costing me 15 seconds? Or 10 seconds? 15. Hello, hi, thank you. I, I knew the stairs weren't faster to jump up because of the uh, fact that they are stairs. Um, okay, cool. Um, the jumps I do aren't to jump up them. The jumps I do are to get up the, like, onto the stair faster. Uh, because that one I did, like, measure, like, individually. Like, I took a vid I made a video and took us with a stopwatch and checked. Um, those I do because of the way that you can jump such that you can, like, get on the stair, like, uh, basically a second faster. Um, by essentially jumping around the corner. And the jump downs I do for a similar reason, mostly to curve my, like, trajectory. But that stair I forgot is a bad stair to jump down. Yeah, I didn't kill the rocket guy, which is a little bit annoying. Hey, die, please. Thank you. Uh, Lyrnus found a way to do that jump right there, but I don't know how. So I will not attempt it. Yeah, exactly. Hello? That hitbox is so fun! I can see why multiplayer players love the flame tank hitbox. I too would be mad at it all the time. I am driving. That is the slowest I've ever done that driving part. Cool. Help me. Oh, please help me. Yeah, that's definitely what it feels like. Okay, I lose a fair amount of time this level to just shitty driving. 
but... I should practice the Lyranus jump, but I don't know it yet, so I will not do it. Uh, it just changes the game, like, in terms of aim and stuff. Uh, hopefully those are fine. Um, the reason the auto splitter doesn't work on TT is because the auto splitter is, to be honest, really, um, really naive in how it does things. And that's fine because it's not trying to be fancy, but the way the auto splitter works, um, is it just literally has hard coded into its it, it has a hard-coded memory value that it looks for in the game to see the game's like data. Yeah, that's about placement. Um, so it literally just looks at a hard-coded spot in memory for certain aspects of the game's data, and that doesn't work. That memory value is just a different num value for different spots in memory. Like it's not even any change to the game would do that. Not just a minor. Not just a t like a big change. I would argue the TT shouldn't be legal to run on, either. What is causing... Okay, random time loss. It's because I got the black hand kills really slow. Um, because you have to just kind of find them manually. It's really slow. Yeah, pointers to memory address is not lining up is what I'm saying. Um, because... Yeah. Yeah. Um... Sorry. Uh, eventually. Sorry. Um. Yeah, the, the reason they're not shade, they. You would actually just have to manually find them. Um. And someone could manually find them. Like, from what I can tell, both me and that are qualified to find them. In terms of like we know what to how to find them we just also it's like not exactly a trivial thing Nick Parker, GBI Special Forces Commando. Yeah. Um. Yeah, especially 32 bit games. Um. I don't use Cheat Engine for it. I. It has a bigger hitbox. It's not. It's not a stronger explosion. It's just a bigger hitbox. Um. Oh wait, no, it is stronger because a direct C4 hit will one shot a buggy, whereas a rocket won't. Um. It is. Yeah, slightly stronger. Um. The, uh, Kill him. My I do it the dumb way, in terms of finding pointers, which is, uh, <laughs> dumping memory repeatedly in dumb ways. You failed me for the last time, Sakura. Don't stand for... Like, I more or less do it the hard way, where I just core dump repeatedly until I see a pattern line up, and then... 
Uh, which is a really bad way to do it, because it's, like, not guaranteed to work, and also, um... <laughs> there, there's enough variability in how, like, actual raw memory changes run to run. The variability people overstate how much variability games have in terms of program runtime to runtime. The bigger difference is obviously just where the OS decides to page it. Um, although, because we're doing things virtually, virtually it doesn't super matter. Um, but my method is just dumb because it, like, leaves the- it basically lets the OS screw you out of actually getting the correct number. Okay, that is the most black hand soldiers I've ever seen walk there. Uh, please don't kill Sydney before I get to the t thing that teleports her. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just had really unfortunate deadly reunion and- I've never had Sydney die there, ever. Even, I once left like five people there together at a turret and stuff, and she... I'm not sure they sh try to shoot her. Got it. Okay. Cool. Uh, that's better than PB, I think. In PB, I took a couple shots, I think. Cool. Yeah, in PB, I took at least a second shot. That time's too slow. Uh, this won't gold, but it will be save quite a bit of time. Yeah, okay. Okay, time to have my soul oppressed. Um, I'm gonna try the the said thing here. Doctor Mobius in Sydney. Sydney's alive. You'll need to ask Ravishaw about Mobius. Understood. I'm gonna try the said thing here, where I don't insta kill the, where I wait to kill the turret. And then try to yellow the buggy suction pretty hard. Ooh, time indeed. Okay, the trigger. Let's try this. I don't know if I did that. The yellow buggy time, I'm not gonna yellow the buggy part. I'm gonna personal ion cannon it because that's safe and not slow. But I'm gonna, the, the, the dudes who spawn, I'm gonna try to yellow. Uh, this would be it. Okay, cool. Uh, how's my ammo? Fine. Good job. Nice. Not that it really matters. Uh, I shouldn't wait as long as I do there. Alright, Hotwire, now's your time to not be a dick. Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> um, and then realized it didn't matter for me. Yeah, imagine forgetting to your whole strategy. It doesn't matter, though. Works. Uh, I didn't hear deployment confirmed. Yeah, I don't have it. Doesn't sound like it's coming with us. 
Yeah. Uh, the big tick is that Buckies can, if you, if they hit their bullets enough, they can't, their headshots do hurt quite a bit. So those are the things I'm actually being scared of when I'm trying to... Cheers. I've also been crushed by that buggy before, but that was because I was dumb when I was th that run. Oh crap. Got a present for you. Still here? You had orders to evac. Just following your lead. Don't ask where we got this. I played that part terribly, but I got away with it. Yeah. It's the kind of thing that, like, had a good result, but doesn't deserve to have a good result and so it's the kind of thing where a lot of people actually overlook that when they're trying to improve at a thing because they don't like see bad results so they don't think that they need to improve upon it but they do they just got lucky ah bad okay cool um This might be a goal, it might not be, it depends Looks on... Like Time to get to work. Dumb auto-aim. No, it's not a goal. For sure. It, ends. it doesn't end in time. Oh, it does. Cool. Uh, it's really not as hard as it looks. Um, you literally shoot, you just get in the tank, uh, with a rocket launcher equipped. Um, and then shoot, get out, shoot. Get back in. Drop. Oh, didn't drop gun. Shit. Only picked up one the gun, so I wanted the second one. Because. Yeah, it's not as hard as it looks. Um, I remember when I first started, I was like so scared. Of... Oh, no one drops guns, man. It's tilting. Uh, yeah, it took me like literally three tries to learn it and then I never have messed it up since. Um, the hard part of the execution for me is remembering to get, is like, the, the input to, like, adjust your aim as you're doing it. Because if your lineup's not the greatest, then you might need to do that. Um, you usually don't. But that's, like, not that tight, either. And not that necessary if you just... <laughs> aim correctly the first time, I guess, is the correct way to say it. You can also theoretically, um, the other big thing to remember, actually, is that your reload animations can finish inside your vehicles. That's happened to me once, actually. Um, yeah. That is, that's happened to me once. I'm pretty good about not doing it, but I can see how that's like, if you're, if you're doing a mash based of the base input. I can drop the buggy a little bit more forward there. Um. 
Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Alright. Cool. Thanks for the advice of actually hitting the side there. Yeah. Um, you can even do it in, like, the practice range. You don't have to do it on a level. Like, because you can just equip the Rocket Soldier character and then buy, like, a any vehicle. Yeah, thanks for the advice about the uh, side. That was the part I was missing in how to do it. And I missed that disastrously. Yeah, I use multiplayer practice a lot to figure out a lot of mechanical things. Oh, I don't need the health. to stop reaching for F6 when I have a mouse button by now. I, like, absolutely don't need to reach for F6 anymore. Uh, it fits fairly well into the way I grip a keyboard, though, so... Uh... Where did I get the third one? Good question. Oh. <sighs> that was almost dumb. Did I? New and improved version. New bug? I'm taking the Mobius girl with me. I have no need for the other. Do you understand? Need to look at the bot, I guess. Look at you. The ultimate assassin. Loyal, strong, and Seems mighty. like that fits in the with the class of renegade pickup bugs. There's through. other renegade pickup bugs already, we know, it's so the like reload one so Change will be clear. sure Ravishaw's a walking part of some success kill him my friend kill, kill him, him slowly ah oh, yeah i got t-pose let's go all right how many do i have okay cool nice i have a decent amount enough that if i wanted to Okay, I don't know why you're on there, but cool. Cool. Uh, we'll use random bits of time loss, but nothing actually that matters. Uh, cause this PB. Will you look at this? This is, is if I just have decent pace, I have a lot of time saving stopping on holy ground, and then Yuke Strat gives me time. How much do I have? Let's see, I have plenty. Warning, product containment systems violated. All personnel evacuate immediately. It seems the containment alarm has been triggered. That is more than they usually hit me for. There it is. One moment while I power it up. Don't take I don't just need three seconds for a world record. I need zero point seven seconds for a world record. The radio isn't functional this far down. Um Unless Thed broke his own record that I wasn't aware of. That the. Um. That's got it. Let's go. Come on. It's fine. 
Um, I mean, it was a bad run anyway. That didn't... This is, to be honest, not a great run either, but... It's the kind of run where I have free time save, so I'll take it. Like, the thing is, right... Uh... I don't, like, have a thing about people, like, doing anything quote-unquote rude, because it doesn't matter. Like, it's having fun in Vigi game. Uh, Mobius is not getting stunlocked. Okay, wondering if I had to go back there and be mad at him. It didn't, which is good. Okay, cool. Don't have to worry about stealth tank. I'm gonna steal the strat. I've never seen you walk that far forward without me actually making noise. That was not my fault, really. Um, I made a dodge motion. Yeah, using flamethrower there, because it's a good plan. Rocket drops. Woohoo. All right, Mobius push. Nope, messed it up. I messed up the two second, the two frame time save. Rip run. GG. Well played. Please don't kill me. Thanks. That was not the greatest I've ever done that section. Uh, the placement was just super off on all of them, like to be honest. That was a really unlucky placement. In like a way, but like I mean I can't blame placement there because like it's just totally RNG. I need to take what I'm given. How if this gold that's insane by the way? It gold by 0.62 seconds, which is. I died, so I just yellowed that way better than I have in past times. Nice. Uh, that's still three seconds lower than Thed's, but... <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Alright. Uh, I want laser rifle out for the lineup that I found for myself. Let's hope I can do it. I did this, like, this morning. It was like several hours ago. Let's try it. Okay. I will do the quick save on the lineup. Yeah. Good. Thanks for everybody, though. There's a guy on the other immediate other side of the store. No, there isn't. I misread the minimap. Tell these guys to get out of the way. Please drop your ammo. Okay, cool. We'll line up over. Oh, 
shit. Die, please. I forgot the rocket guy. There was a fourth spawn there. Obelisk of depression, indeed. I once said to a friend who knows nothing about this game other than how much I hate Obelisk of Oppression, uh, he, he, he uh, coined the title, uh, it oppresses, said it oppresses Alex's soul. Knocked me there. I didn't do any input there. I was holding W the whole time. If I do not know what pushed me back there at all. Like, Like, something knocked me back on the stair there. I was holding W the entire time. Like... They drop armor and not their guns. Cringe. I didn't hit that guy somehow. Auto aim being nice to me. Got a nice headshot on the black hand there, though. Like, the auto aim didn't screw me out of the fact that I hit a headshot. Oh, shit. Dump. Uh, I'm not doing that input, by the way. That just moved me back, like, sub for some reason I just don't understand. How many, how many iron can do I have? Ooh, I can still do the fast kill. Let's go. Disgustingly slow there. Uh, I forgot to see for the, the, like um, the what's it called? 
I forgot to C4 and I forgot to actually reload the pick. Seriously? Where's my save? Uh, please be good quick save. Ah. Uh... I've had that happen to me before, but never there. Alright, so I lose time on this. Despite, you know... Oh, so much time lost, man. Despite all the time saved from Uke Skip. so bad man all right well my pb is awful here i can still actually world record here i just need to do super speed i did grab it i don't care they can i just was kind of tilted and not trying to dodge If I match my gold here, uh, this is P this is world record, by the way. Disgustingly bad quick save, but doesn't matter because of complete luck. Oh shit! I shot for some reason. Uh, I was gonna die there, by the way, to the burn, unless I grab the health. Because I just exploded a C4 in my vicinity. Uh, didn't check if there was a rocket by me, but there isn't, luckily. Uh, don't kill until you hit that, because otherwise they will get another Templar spawn. Um, so the way it works is it spawns a new Templar every time you kill one of them. So what you should, how you should play that section is you should have, on the side you're hitting the button on, whichever side, left or right, I think all of us do left for some reason. On the side you're hitting the button on, you don't want to kill Templars until you hit the button. Because the button kills them in their pods. So you avoid that by doing so. I'm so low health here. This is a really dangerous section to YOLO. Some of them spawn. He dropped two healthers. <laughs> he dropped two 100 healths there. there is no smoking in the laboratory. He dropped two 100 health there. I picked up two. Yeah, so you want to stun but not kill until... You, um... Back from the grave. 
if either my trust in an enemy is safe. No matter. Oh, this is gonna be close, by the way. I mean, it's close because if I gold, I have world record by two seconds, and if I don't gold, I don't have world record. Come on. Hey, city. Let's have a sense of fucking urg urgency, please. I think senses of urgency are good here because we're trying to avoid a nuclear missile exploding. Oh, it's gonna be really close. Okay, so my TTT is awful. Let's go. Got it. Nice. Uh, it's by four seconds this time. Let's go. GG. Uh, my TTT was really unlucky. Um, yeah. Uh, and bad. Like, it was both bad and unlucky. I made... Uh, I made dumb mistakes. My daily reunion was stupid. The mistake I made in it. Uh, Evolution of Evil lost random time. Stowaway. I got screwed by the spawn. Whatever. Yeah. Okay, Rod. Not, not good, not good, bad. Um, I... Sorry, it's, like, pretentious as fuck to say not bad, not good on a run that just got world record, but I can do better. Um, but such is the life.